And welcome back. Downtown construction did nothing to deter people from enjoying their Golden Days weekend. Thousands of spectators came to watch the Golden Days Grand Parade, visit the downtown street fair, and cheer on their favorite rubber ducks in the 2015 Rubber Ducky Race. All the events are meant to celebrate Fairbanks' rich and golden history. Reporter Ryan Grimes was there. He has the story. The 2015 Golden Days Grand Parade kicked off without a hitch over the weekend. The Greater Fairbanks Chamber of Commerce hosts the parade and all other Golden Days events. Executive Director Lisa Herbert says the Golden Days Grand Parade is one of the largest in Alaska. We had a lot of uh, new first time entries this year. We had some from Delta Junction, um, which was really great to see a, just a community collaborative effort here. And uh, a shout out to the 354th Fighter Wing. They helped us stage the entire parade in the back parking lot of the Carlson Center. Ken Ross Fort Knox Mine uh, had about 25 to 30 parade marshals, making sure everybody was enjoying their parade safely. More than 90 entrants paraded across downtown, including marching bands, clowns on wheels, antique cars, and much, much more. I expected a lot of different people to show up, which has met my expectations. There's a lot of people out here to see this parade today. I think it's fun, you know, for the community. It's one of those things where, like, um, you know, the one thing that comes along in Fairbanks, you know, everyone comes to have fun, enjoy the sights. People could leave the parade and enjoy the Golden Days Street Fair on 1st and 2nd Avenue, featuring old-time games, petting zoos, and good food and drinks from local businesses. I think every year just keeps getting better and better. Just hours after the parade concluded, the 2015 Rubber Ducky Race was ready to start on the Chena River. I'm really looking forward to seeing like a waterfall of rubber, du rubber duckies. Two, one, one. The multiple winners of the Rubber Ducky Race had the chance to win cash and prizes worth over $35,000. Uh, yeah, that'd be great yeah. if we could win. Yeah, that's what that's what we got the tickets for, but it's more just to see the experience. Race committee members plucked the fastest duck, number 1833, out of the water before collecting over 7,000 yellow rubber avians. Herbert says tickets to the race were sold out before it started. Sold out. Record time. We were sold out again by about 1030. And uh, I think next year we're going to challenge ourselves and maybe add another 1500 ducks to the mix. This is Ryan Grimes reporting from Golden Heart Fairbanks.